Welcome to my top 10 favourite courses from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I have chosen them by a combination of how well they play and how good they look and sound. Remember that these are my personal favourite courses, so your favourites will almost certainly be different. At number 10 is Wild Woods. This position was between five different tracks, but Wild Woods just took the spot. Racing your way up, down and through the trees is a lot of fun. The section where you drift down a stream of water through a hollow tree is one of my favourite parts from any track. There's so much detail going on in the background, it's almost as entertaining to watch as it is to play. At number 9 is Moo Moo Meadows. This is probably the simplest course on this list, but it has always been one of my favourite tracks. The wide roads make it easy to stay on course, meaning that instead you can focus on your opponents. You don't only have to worry about your opponents though, because after the first lap, several Moo Moo's start to wander across your path and are surprisingly difficult to avoid. It also has a fantastic music track that helps the action feel even more frantic, especially when it goes super fast on the final lap. At number 8 is Cloudtop Cruise. This is a track with a lot of variety. You spend most of your time either on roads made out of clouds or a giant beanstalk up in the sky. You however also need to navigate your way around the tight corners of a flying boat and avoid lightning strikes while you boost your way through a storm cloud. All of this combined with the music helped to create the feeling that you've been on an epic adventure after every single lap. At number 7 is Ribbon Road. I love the theme of this course. Everyone is tiny while racing around a bedroom full of toys. Or is everyone normal size and the room's enormous? Either way, it makes for an amazing backdrop to the track. The theme isn't why it's on this list though. The course is amazingly good fun. You are racing across a giant ribbon that is often moving and twisting around. There are almost no flat sections in the entire course. This gives you lots of opportunities to bounce off the track and gain speed and helps the entire track flow together. It is one of the best combinations of style and substance out of any of the courses. At number 6 is Toad Harbour. This bright and happy seaside town looks like it would be an amazing place to live, but I think it makes an even better place to race. The theme may be simple compared to some of the other entries on this list, but the layout of the track is really interesting. Almost every section has multiple routes, but unlike traditional shortcuts, there are benefits to any route you take. This means that you're constantly making decisions about what direction you want to go in while never slowing down the pace of the race. This makes it one of the best courses to play over and over again. At number 5 is DK Jungle. This is another course that has something interesting around every turn. It has some of the most unique corners and manages to strike the perfect level of difficulty so that it's fun for newcomers and experts. The shortcuts feel great to pull off successfully and the combination of wider more open areas and tight roads in the dense jungle gives you lots of variety when attacking your opponents. It's actually not one of my favourite maps to look at, but the course is so much fun to race on it had to be high up on my list. At number 4 is TikTok Clock. This course is like driving through the workings of a giant clock. Because of this it feels like everything is moving. You're using cogs to boost your speed and avoiding giant swaying pendulums. As the hands of the clocks turn, it gives you new opportunities for shortcuts and boost jumps. It all comes together to create one of the most unique feeling courses in the entire game. Its only real drawback is that I personally don't feel like the background music lives up to the course itself and can actually become a little irritating. At number 3 is Rainbow Road. Oh wait, no, not the SNES one. No, not the N64 one either. Yep, yeah, there we go, this is the one. The new Rainbow Road. I know it isn't the classic Rainbow Road experience and some people may not like the fact that it includes barriers on some sections, but I love to play this map. It looks spectacular, it flows and it's challenging. You can go full speed around the entire track and just a few split second decisions can often mean the difference between victory or defeat. I have never had a race on this course that I haven't enjoyed, even if I play badly. It takes a really special course for that to be possible. At number 2 is Melody Motorway. This course is all about music. As you drift across the instruments you can hear the notes playing behind you, and when you bounce off a huge drum you can hear an equally huge bang. It's really satisfying and has some of the most rewarding drifting corners in the entire game. Another highlight is the section with the bouncing music notes that you need to avoid and can use for an extra speed boost if you time your jumps as they land. The entire course is moving to the music, and after your first lap you probably will be too. It's pure enjoyment from beginning to end, and that is why it's so high up on my list. At number 1 is Shy Guy Falls. 
There isn't one single reason why this is my favorite course, but the combination of lots of little details. The layout of the track, the shortcuts, the style and the music all combine to make a truly engaging and exciting experience. No other track has matched the feeling of boosting up a waterfall before doing a U-turn and heading straight back down again before gliding off into the distance. I love the energy of the shy guy in the background as they work away and bob up and down to the music. It almost feels like you're on a Disneyland roller coaster. I can't get enough of playing this map and vote for it every time it comes up online. And that is why Shy Guy Falls is my favourite map in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So those were my top 10 favourite, but I'm sure your favourite courses are very different, so feel free to share your top 3 in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!